What is up guys, once again welcome to Finding Fishes, today we are going to talk about one of the most loved species of cichlid around the world, the Frontosa cichlid. It is a fairly typical member of the cichlidae family. Both sexes are characterized by a large frontal hump, which will develop as the fish reaches maturity or attains a length of around 4 inches. Originating from the deep waters of Lake Tanganyika, Africa, wild-caught specimens are not seen as often as captive-bred specimens in the hobbyist's aquarium. In their native Africa, Frontosa cichlids are considered a delicacy on the table. Although territorial, the Frontosa cichlid is generally not aggressive, but rather gentle and tolerant. It does well in a tank with plenty of rocks and caves for hiding and a sandy bottom. Plants are incidental, but may be helpful for other tank mates. Let's take a look at some of the popular types of Frontosa. First up on the list. The blue Zaire Frontosa is collected in deep water, a process that requires a lot of effort and manpower, as the fish needs to be brought up to the surface slowly, not to be damaged by the change in pressure. Add to this the fact that the fish is collected in a politically very unstable area, and it comes as no surprise that the blue Frontosa is much more expensive than regular wild-caught Frontosa. Next up. The Frontosa burundi cichlid comes from Lake Tanganyika in Africa where the fish is rather spread. They live almost all through all of Lake Tanganyika, but they always prefer depth about 10 to 50 meters, which is rather deep in the water. Unlike other cichlid fish which like living in covers and rocks, the Frontosa prefers to live in a big colonies along the sandy coasts of the lake. The Frontosa burundi cichlid has a high and elongated body, flat on both sides. In a tank, the Frontosa burundi cichlid max size can be up to 30 cm, however the female size is rather small about 25 cm long. The older the fish is, the darker is its coloring, and the longer are its fins. The mature Frontosa male dorsal and pectoral fin have kind of stings at their ends. The female fins are relatively short. Next on list is. The Capilli Frontosa, not much information, is available about these Frontosa, as they are rarely imported. They are beautiful blue, but not as much as other types. Next up. The Zambian Blue Frontosa, this fish comes in colors of blue and black, with stripes along the body that is mesh of these colors, while the black of course dominates the two tones. It has a brilliant blue color to it, making it unique among its kind. This variety has nice banding, with some blue on the face. The band on the head fades just above the eye. Next on list is. The Kavala Frontosa, this variety is extremely rare. It has six nice bands and blue accents, but can turn dark, with moot. Its dorsal fin is yellow, but with a sheen of multiple colors. Indeed one of the beautiful ones. Next on list is. The Samazi Frontosa, this variety has a high body, but varies in color between the male and female. The male has nice blues, while the female has none or very little. They are also more difficult to breed. That's it for today guys, hope you really enjoyed the video, keep supporting us and stay tuned for more such interesting videos. Finding fishes remember the name.